one plus one is two. All right, our right, math may be too difficult now. I'll tell you what we'll do. We will start with, with the dance number. We should have thought of that before. So remember, remember, when I say dance, you just get up on your hind legs and you dance, okay? Now, dance and dance like we did in the car. You don't have to do it quite the rhythm I'm doing. Stop! But, what? Stop! Enough! This is an act. This is the star you promised me. This is Wolfgang the Wonder Dog. He doesn't even breathe. You told me he can do incredible tricks. Well, I know I'll handle this. He, he, well, the guy who sold him to me said that he could do anything. I'm reaching my limit. You were supposed to bring me a star, and you bring me a dog in a coma! How can you do this to me? You bring this to the greatest showman in Las Vegas history? This is what you bring to the man who stunned audiences with the horse that could play the Star Spangled Banner on the saxophone? This! This is what you bring me? You bring this to P.T. Wansaki? Maybe you just caught her on a bad day. Let's keep the paint on the eggs, please. Does his face look like an egg to you? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, there you go. destroying the sink, could you pass on fixing the dishwasher and call a repairman? Oh, honey, I really got a handle on this now. Mom, I have a new friend. Oh, that's great. Invite him in to say hello. He can stay for dinner if he likes. We're having pork chops. Oh, great. Um, I'm not so sure what he eats. He might be a vegetarian. Wait right here. Hey, come on in. Oh, yeah. I guess. 
he needs some clothes, doesn't he? No, don't. What's with you? No chatter? Come on, a little chatter. Hey! Come on, 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 just keep your eye on the ball. Watch the ball all the way to your bat, okay? If you knock him in, we win. And if you don't, we lose, and you blow it for the whole team. But look, no pressure, all right? Just get a hit. But I can't, Coach. She's been striking me out since Pee Wee League. Use a pinch hitter, please. I can't use a pinch hitter, Nick. I don't have a pinch hitter, okay? How about him? No! <laughs> What's this? Time! Stop! Time! Time out! Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to use a pinch hitter. Pinch hitter? Him? What are you kidding? He can't play! Uh, no way! Just give me a, um, is he a local resident? Is he a local resident? Yeah. All right. Um, is he under 10 years old? Under 10 years old? <laughs> <laughs> sure thing! Uh huh. Well, then he can play! What? No way! This is insane! Oh, no, you don't! No, 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 no! No, wait a minute! Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! No, no, you listen Please to me now! I this is not going to happen! I'm a pharmacist for God's sake! I don't care I'm not you're perfect! A Everyone yells at me! I'm going to get a ruling from you! I don't even I, like what's children! What's are you? Are what's you an umpire? Do you have a cute little black hat? Do you have the little mask that goes over your face? Rick, Rick, my gosh! Come on, you heard him! There's nowhere in the rule books that says he can't play. There's nowhere in the rules, Ricky. Play ball! This is unbelievable! You mean to tell me you make a ruling like this? I cannot believe you people! This is true! That is unbelievable! I cannot believe that they're gonna change the rules as we go along! Why have rules, you know what I mean? I mean, just make it up as we go! Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. In your dreams, Duck. Do you have one? Oh, yes! Oh, no. Mr. Ducky! Flap, flap, flap! Watch the ball, Doug. Just watch the ball. Strike two. Oh, yes! Strike two! You're going down! You're a dead duck! Hit it! Hit the ball! With the big boy stick you're holding! He doesn't know what a bat is? I don't know.
You won't believe this. They got our giant duck playing baseball over at the field. Oh, quit fooling with me, Earl. Er. Sir, or madam, you should run now. scared of doing it, that's all. Maybe you're right. Maybe I could. Hey, watch this. Ooh. Can we do it again? Mm. Come on. Don't have that much fun anymore. <laughs> Boy, it'll be great having you stay with us. I've always wanted a brother. I mean, he'll be part of the family. But my folks don't adjust to things as quick as I do. And they were kind of in shock when they met you. But they'll really get to like you. And Dad fixed my bunk bed so he could sleep in my room tonight. And they said that tomorrow he could walk to school with me. And... Maybe I could be more like you. Not, not, you know, not afraid to do things. Gee, great. Can I call your folks mom and dad? Uh, sure. But they're not my real mom and dad. Um, not exactly. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> Play ball! Fly ball down center field. Nick Lance is going back, back, back. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, did, did, did you catch it? This is Dead Man's Gulch. Ooh. You can't get in. You can't get out. Climb down, but they never made it back up. You wee! That's deep. Okay, now, you ready for the backflip? Of course you are. Ready and the backflip. No, no that's more the forward flip. You want to go back. Go back. We're ready for your close up. This is Jeff. Good, good. Okay, then we'll. we'll We'll do the one arm push up. I understand what you want to do, and that's okay with me. Okay, one arm push up. Here we go. Down we are. Up and up and up. See, boss? She's a natural. Look at this. Up and good girl. That's and it. That is it. You don't like it, boss? No, I don't like it, and I'm fed up with you. Oh, you do like it, boss? I think you should really think twice about this. Oh, no, it's a good jacket. Oh. Oh, Hello. What? No. What? No. What? No. What? What? 
it's it's my cousin Frank, you know, and this boy, the one with the bad teeth. Well, I shouldn't say his bad teeth because we had good teeth. What is it? What is it? Why did he say what he says the biggest thing ever to hit Pittsville just walked into town, and it's only a short way from here. So we should go and get it, huh, boss? Tracks. That's good news. Go get the car. You wee! That was fun. You wee! You say that all the time. That's what we're gonna call you, Huey, Big Huey. Big Huey? But but I was just born. Uh, little Huey, Kid Huey. No. Wait, wait. I got it. Baby Huey. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Baby Huey, yes! Baby Huey, ah! Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on! Hi! Hi! Don't look now, but I think people are staring at you. <laughs> I think they're looking at you. Only because you're new in town. Well, we don't get many seven-foot ducks passing through here. Oh, I wonder why. A bunny. Oh, that's all about the Big E strike. Mm. We've been doing that in Bitsville for a hundred years, but this year is going to be the biggest one ever. <gasps> the kids decorate a bunch of eggs, and the Easter Bunny hides them, and then we spend all morning looking for them, and it's a lot of fun. Sure is a fun place. Could they do that again? Uh, I don't think so. Come on. Well, if it isn't the foul on the prowl. Hi, Audrey. Put her here, Doc. You're all right. First time anyone ever hit one out of the park on me. He hit it out of the park? He hit it out of the state. He hit it out of the country. He hit it out of the universe. He we hit it get out of the point, Lotta. Ah, it was nothing. I'll strike you out next time. I don't think so. Oh, don't forget that one. Oh. <laughs> Allow me. There you go. I was trying to get that box in the truck. Huh? Not out. <gasps> Oops. Sorry. inside and give you a bath. Uh, me? Uh. Is this the same Nevada as Las Vegas? Where are the lights, the girls, the crowds? What a dumb... Ooh. Ho, 
Holy cow! Holy cow! A purple limousine! Wow. Did you ever see a car like that before? Until today. I never even saw a car before. Oh, yeah. Hey, can you walk like this? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Can you walk like this? <laughs> You're it! <gasps> I'm it! I'm it! I'm it! What's it? Oh, wait for me! Ooh. Discovered a new species. About seven foot tall, wears clothes, and walks with humans. It's either a very rare bird who acts like a human, or a rare human who acts like a bird. Wait, Pretty had a bill, web feet, and tail feathers. Himmel, it's a duck. I must have him. <laughs> hey, boss, ain't that what's his name? Professor Von Klopp, you know, the bird guy. Klopp? Von Klopp? He's the ruthless criminal who tried to steal the Patagonian dancing penguins from me after I stole them from the old Eskimo lady. I smell trouble, Bernie. I smell big trouble. That guy collects birds like some people collect baseball cards. He's gonna want that duck. But we're gonna win, Bernie. It's no accident that win is the first syllable in Winsaki. We're gonna win, Bernie! Do you hear me? We are going to win! Why don't you listen to me when I talk? It hurts my feelings when you don't listen! Dad! Dad! You win hit home run! And we won the game, and we're gonna call him Baby Huey. Uh, what? I can't hear you. <gasps> Huey hit a home run off little Audrey, and we won the game, and we're gonna call him Baby Huey. <laughs> Thanks for fixing my iron, honey. It's perfect now. What? Did you, you broke it already? Okay. What are we going to give Huey for dinner? I mean, he's got no teeth. He can't eat pork chops. How about leftover spaghetti? Bread. You give birds little pieces of bread like when you feed the pigeons in the park. Bread. Oh. Oof. Oops. Uh, um. 
Jennifer, you're crazy to have this this duck living in your house. It, 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 he's too big, too strong. He, he belongs with his own whatever they are. It's a well-known fact that ducks are dumb animals. He's just too different. He's dangerous. Actually, Wilma, he's really quite sweet. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He knocked down a light pole at Dead Man's Gulch. He destroyed Mr. McGregor's fence. Ooh. Harris's car is in the garage because of him, and he deliberately broke your son's bed. It wasn't quite like that. Besides, Nick loves him. You know, Huey, he's like a brother and a pet combined. Oh, great. Maybe I should get Patsy a gorilla. Nick, he's always been this insecure kid. He's been afraid to try things because he's scared that he might fail. He's wrong, of course. He's much better than he thinks he is. What's that got to do with anything? You got no coffee here. Oh, I'll get you some. Anyway, you know, Huey just arrived and, and things have been changing. Nick is so much more sure of himself. After all, if Huey, who's just a baby, isn't afraid to try things, well, then Nick is going to feel like he shouldn't be afraid to try things either. Still and all, having a duck living with you, it, 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 it just isn't right. He doesn't belong with plain, nice people like us. You going to eat this? Well, the bunk bed's fixed and good as new. Thank you very much. Huey's hopping up into it right now. I don't believe it, Amanda. I just came from Jennifer and Andy's house, and that creature is still living with them. He must be seven feet tall. It's abnormal. Quiet! I'm on the phone! And he broke Nick's bed. He's ten feet tall, Elsa. And he caused a chain reaction accident on Main Street. Eight cars total. It's horrible, Minnie. He's fifteen feet tall. And, and, and he ate a whole horse. A Clydesdale. Trixie? Emily? Oh. Amanda? I just came from well, what do you and think? That bird's still in town. That's what are Jennifer and Andy thinking? He destroyed 16 cars and a large bus. Nothing like this has ever happened in Pittsburgh before. No. I don't think we should tell anyone. You won't believe what I just heard. Jennifer and Andy have got a giant duck living with them. He's 30 feet tall, he talks dirty, and he's a nasty thing. In fact, he never shuts up. He's destroyed their house. He threw a baseball right through their wall and gave Andy a concussion. Andy may have to have brain surgery. Broke his tool belt and everything. Giant talking duck. That's it, Bernie. My new attraction. We'll teach you to sing. We'll teach you to dance. We'll teach you to walk on the high wire. The we'll boss. teach you to juggle. What? It's a bird. So what? Well. Don't you remember the dancing Panagonian penguins? They... That was an accident. How was I supposed to know that they attacked people in crowds? Don't you ever mention their name in my presence again. Who? The Patagonian penguins? I... I don't, I don't care. I never say nothing. That duck is going to be the next P.T. Winsaki superstar. Yeah, but what, what if he don't got any talent? Talent? What's talent got to do with anything? You don't need talent to be a star in Las Vegas. You just need to be different. And what's more different than a giant talking duck? I could see it now. 
my crowning achievement as the greatest showman in the history of Las Vegas. I'll be surrounded by the most beautiful girls in the world, the Winsaki girls. There'll be magic. Las Vegas needs lots of magic. People have to believe anything's possible in Las Vegas, even winning money. Rise! Rise! Maybe not magic either. But there'll be animals. We'll make the world forget about Siegfried and uh what's his name? I forgot already. Strike the animals. Lions and birds don't work well together. But who cares? He's a talking duck. Yeah, but what if he doesn't want to do it? Not want to do it? Well, he doesn't want to do it, no. <laughs> Not want to do it. <laughs> Not want to be in a P.T. Winsaki production. <laughs> he better want to do it. That duck comes with me. Oh, he's Christmas dinner for 200. I'm sorry you can't come to school with me, but you can hang around the playground till I get out. Ooh, sounds like fun. My friend, I've been looking for you. I want to make you an offer you can't refuse. Gee, thanks. I think you should talk to my dad first. Go away, kid. I'm having a face-to-beak talk with the duck. Beat it. I want to show you something. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? Ooh. Well, I can't read, but that's a real nice picture. My fine feathered friend, you are one lucky duck, oh. a fortunate fowl, a winged winner. Oh boy. I am P.T. Winsaki, the world's greatest showman. Ooh. I still think you should talk to my dad first. Why don't you go find yourself a nice bow wow to play with? Huh, kid? The duck's mine. Get lost. Ooh. Come to Las Vegas with us. You'll have your own luxury home. Uh, I mean, nest. Hmm. Your own purple Cadillac. Hmm. Champagne-flavored birdseed. Wow. Whatever you want. Hmm. I want to live with Nick and his mom and dad. <laughs> Maybe you don't have to talk to my dad after all. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Bye. He's a real brat. He's a real brat. They're the worst kind. A real brat is what he is. Wait a minute. Look at this. Why? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sure am. What are you thinking? You bird. I must have that bird. Nah! Bye, Nick. Bye. Oh. Ooh, lots of kids. Ooh, lots of fun. 
<sighs> Gee, I wish I could go to school. Oh, come on, lunchbox. Let's explore. Hi there. What are you doing out here? Get back into school. Pay attention, class. I want everyone to look at the board. Now, after you add the seven and the five in the ones column, you put the two down and carry the one. And then, what's so funny? What are you laughing at? When you finish decorating your eggs, remember to put them all in the big Easter basket, and tonight the Easter Bunny will hide them. Oh, boy. <sighs> Ow! What was that? Chicken in an egg, it has no bone. A story of I love you, it has no end. A baby, when it's sleepy, it has no cry. Uh -huh. Oh. 
A baby when it's sleeping, it has no cry. Huey, I didn't know you could sing. Come on down here. No, I can't sing. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, don't be shy, baby. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do a duck dance first, Huey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I ain't never been to school. Friends I have found, I'm going to show you how to duck dance and walk around. So put your hands on your hips, put your feet on the ground. You gotta shake those tail feathers, shake them around. Doing the duck, doing the duck, doing the duck, doing the duck. Now raise your hands in the air, we're going to shout it out loud. I just love to do the duck dance. And shake it all around. I tell you that it's easy if you follow me now. Cause my name is Baby Huey. I'm the biggest duck in town. Doing the duck. Doing the duck. Doing the duck dance. Doing the duck. Now, my friends, let's gather around. Put your elbows in and you flop them up and down. Now, put out your lips and open up your mouth. Put your left foot in, put your right foot out. Everybody's looking like they know how to quack, so are you ready? Let's do the duck dance! Duck dance! Doing the duck! Doing the duck dance! Doing the duck dance! We're doing the duck dance! Doing the duck dance! We're doing the duck dance! We're doing the duck dance! Exactly, are you? Uh, hmm. Nick's friend. Well then, Nick. I guess this goes to you. A bill? Oh. Round and clumsy. There's no way to go through life, son. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ooh! Huey, I am a man of science, and I'm pleased to say that my specialty is ornithology, the study of birds. 
<laughs> That's nice. You know, my specialty is living with Nick. We have a double-decker bed, except that the top is kind of broken. And Nick's mom is great. Uh, I never met my own mom. And Nick's dad is great, except he's always fixing things. And when he fixes them, they're worse than before. Yeah! Mm. <laughs> that was really amusing. Now, as I was saying... And they have great bread. White bread, and brown bread, and bread with little black seeds, and even something called bagels. Give me it! Stop it! <gasps> oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I just wanted to see if the little guy could still fly. <laughs> Doesn't look like he can. Uh, anyway, here is... The Bird Watcher Society wants you to come to Washington. They want to examine you and give me a medal for discovering you. I will be famous. I mean, we will both be famous. That's wonderful. Hmm. I could never leave Nick. I thought you might say that. Oh. One moment. Okay. Then clap. Oh, hello, Dr. Gould. Yes, as a matter of fact, he's with me right now. Yes, in my office. Well, uh, he is uh, showing some reluctance, but there's nothing I can't deal with. Please, it's, it's, it's all right. I promise you he will be Ooh. there. And he will be Ooh. there. Now, don't worry. Never fear. Wendel Van Klapp never sleeps. Professor Van Klapp, you forgot. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. <gasps> Oops. Woo-wee. Studying birds must make you real tired. Yep, this is what they use to capture wild boars in Borneo. It's the only one we have in stock. It's perfect. I'll take it. Great. Wait a minute. Oh. I'll take that next. Excuse me, sir, but Professor Von Klopp was here first. Vilsaki. <laughs> what hole did you call out of? Just driving through town, Professor. And Bernie and I thought we'd do a little net hunting. Oh, yes, Bernie. The Denver, the Dumkopf, Stooge, and Petty Thief. Who are you calling Petty? I haven't seen you since you stole the Patagonian dancing penguins from me. Whatever happened to them? Easy, boss. They're fine, okay? They're just fine. Look, Vinsaki, you don't pull the sheep over my eyes. You are not shopping for nets. What's your angle? What are you doing here in Bitsville? Well, I wanted to go back to my roots, you know, explore my childhood. Oh, that's so touchy. But oops! You are not from around here. No wonder I couldn't find Mom's house. <laughs> ah, oh, Don't cross me again, Vinsaki. I can be a tough bird. Watcher. Put it on my tab. He's definitely after the duck. Uh -huh. But I don't need a net, uh -huh. because I've got this. Hair? A brain and a plan. I just, I don't know what we're going to do. This is really going to cost us. We can't have this keep happening. Mom, we're sorry. It won't happen again. Yui was just doing what everyone else was doing. I mean, he's only just... Bigger. Nick, you know, I really like Huey, too. We all like Huey. But if he keeps breaking things, we may not be able to afford him. Speaking of broken things, I think I finally got this toaster oven fixed. Nick, you want to do the honors and plug this in for your old man? Sure, Dad. Ooh-wee! That 
That was fun. Can he do that again? He will. Believe me, he will. Professor Von Klopp. No, I, no, I'm your mama. Don't, don't, you, don't you remember? I used to sing you lullabies. My baby, don't you remember, Huey? It's mama. That's not nice, Professor Von Klopp. Pretending to be my mama. Hmm. Hmm. It's that nut, Von Krupp. He's bird watching again. And he's dressed like a duck. Where have you been? Well, I... I dreamed I found my mama. But it wasn't my mama. It was Professor Von Klopp. Sounds like a nightmare to me. Good night, Yui. Good night, Nikki. Hey, let me handle this, boss. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? I used to be a security guard. We handle this thing two, three times a, a night sometimes. Oh! Will you come on? There's no time to rest. Come on. Boss, what? Don't look now, but we are not alone. Mm. And when we 
you have to eat in places like this. Oh, do I ever. See, I love school food. In fact, I still... Let's give it a try. The brown stuff. Oh, the brown... You remember the brown stuff? Mm, still the same. Still the same. It's very delicious. Very delicious. Oh, and the green stuff. Mm. This, to me, was my vegetable, you know? You just eat it like a peach. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, so good. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, is it? Yes, it is. Look. Oh, shit. The red stuff. Oh, this soup was so good. Oh, mama mia. Will you stop it? You're going to be sick. Oh, my Aha. Oh, come to Papa. You, the eggs. Mm. All right. Have you got the feathers you stole? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Now, let's put it all together. The eggs are gone. We've planted the feathers. People will blame Huey for ruining Easter. People always blame things on other people who are different. He'll be miserable. He'll listen to us, mm. and he'll come away with us. Boss, you are bad. I mean, you're a genius, but you are bad. Of course. Mm. I'm brilliant. I'm incredible. When I was just a young man, upon my daddy's knee, he said, be anything you want, but be the best that you can be. I listened just like a good son should. And though it makes my mother sad, why should I be good when I'm so good, so good at being bad? Ow! I'm Phineas T. Owen Saki. And nobody tells me no. Phineas T. Owen Saki. I'm bigger than the show. Woo! Who painted Kermit's skin green? Who told the Smurfs be blue? Who put Bugs Bunny on the big screen? Who filled up Winnie the Pooh? Not you. Who sold the Iceman his frost? Whee! Who gave Taz that pizzazz? Who told Waldo, hey, get lost? From Big Bird to Hanson, I got them all dancing, and I was the genius who put Butthead with Beavis. That was a good idea. I'm Phineas T. Winsaki. A producer on the go. Phineas T. Winsaki. I'm bigger than the show. Oh. Come on, Bernie, pick him up, put him down. I'm picking. I'm putting. You can do it, kid. You can do it. I can? Who's vicious but true? Boss, that would be you. One and the same. Now, Bernie, let's tell him my name. I'm Phineas T. Winsaki. I'm way much more trouble than they know. Phineas T. Winsaki. I'm one of the best. You're one of the best. I'm larger than life, more sharp than a knife. It's perfectly clear that I'm something to fear and terribly true. I'm smarter than you. I'm bigger than the shark. I feel good. Mmm. Ah. We can't just keep them waiting here all day. Someone's going to have to tell them. That would be you. Um, I just, I don't think that we can keep the kids waiting any longer. Well, I'll handle this. I'm in charge. I'm the general. I'm in total command. By the time they start it. Boys and girls. Boys and girls. Settle down now. Come up, be settled. Settle. Settle down. I'm, uh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid.
afraid I've got some bad news for you. Last night, someone broke into the school and stole all your Easter eggs before the Easter Bunny had time to hide them. When he came to get them, they were gone. Look! Look what we just found, where the eggs were! Wait, 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 wait! Those belong to the duck. He must have stolen the eggs. You he wouldn't steal anything. Yeah, he was a good guy. Now listen to me, you two little brats. That bird attacked me last night. Just look at me. The duck has on a mark. That's a lie. Tell him the truth, you. We tell him what really happened last night. I, uh, I thought I heard my mama. But it wasn't my mama. It was Professor Von Klopp. And I really got mad. See, 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 see what I told you? And there's nothing more dangerous than a mad seven-foot duck. He's so big, he could kill someone. Yes. He would never hurt anyone. He's not one of us. He's got to go. He's not one of us. Mom, Dad, no. Huey's a good guy. He's really only a little kid. He practically destroyed the school yesterday. Yeah! Wait, it wasn't that bad. Mr. Winslow! Well, he did a little damage to the gym. A little damage? He practically pulled the roof down! Wait a minute! I'm in charge here! He pulled the roof down! Nick, honey, I'm really sorry, but it's true. You know, Huey, he's just, he's so big and strong that he could hurt someone without even trying to. And it does look like he stole the Easter eggs. Mom, I can't believe you said that. You know Huey better than that. He wouldn't lie, cheat, or steal, or hurt me or anyone else. You've got to believe me. Never fear. I have a solution. Luckily, I have a cage. We could sedate the girl, and then I will find him a new home amongst his own kind, where he will live ever after happily. Yeah? Put Huey in a cage. Over my large dead body! Yeah. yeah. Forget that. Uh, where is Huey? He's gone! Huey? I bet he just ran away because everybody's being so mean! More likely because he's a thief and a bully, and he has a weight problem. And maybe, Wilma, maybe he just left because we haven't been fair with him. We didn't give him a chance. We don't know that he stole the eggs. And you! Why are you so anxious to get him into trouble? Me? Nick, I was wrong. It's wrong to accuse someone of doing something bad unless you're sure that they did it. And Huey is one of us. It doesn't matter that he doesn't look like one of us. Looking like us is overrated. What? The only thing that matters is that he's nice and kind and that he has a good heart. And we'll pay for the damages, right, Dad? Um, well, I don't have a lot of money right now, but maybe I could repair the damages myself. No! Wait, I'm Nick's neighbor. I've got something to say. We've got to find Huey. Charles, you will go Main Street. Got it. Patsy, you, Lily, and Jessica, take this outside. Audrey, you check the woods. Done. Lada, you're with me. Right. Let's go! Andy, would you believe it? He's taken charge. So, nobody loves me anymore. They said I beat up Professor Von Klopp, but I didn't. He told a fib. He said I stole the Easter eggs and ruined Easter. Oh, I didn't steal any eggs. They said that I didn't belong, that I'm different. Yo, oh, nobody loves me! Hey, I'm a duck. I'll fly away too. Hey, come back, wait for me. Hey, hey, uh, hey, wait. Oh. Even other ducks don't want to be my friends. I don't belong. 
Oh, I don't belong anywhere. I don't belong anywhere And I'm feeling so lonely Does anyone care? I don't belong anywhere Am I a bird without friends? I don't understand Why am I so different? I'm the same as you inside Why am I so different? Cause I walk like you, I talk like you Can you tell me, what am I? I don't belong anywhere I'm so sad I wish I could be with my mama I don't belong anywhere I'm all by myself And will anybody out there be my friend Take my hand I sit here all alone I'm singing my song Do I stay or do I go? Tell me where do I belong? I don't belong anywhere I don't belong anywhere I don't belong anywhere Will you pull your head in? I feel like I'm being driven by a dog. Sorry, boss. Could you find a good place? Still looking. We hide the eggs. By now, everybody thinks Huey stole them. Ah. We go back into town, collect him, and then it's off to Las Vegas and the next. P.T. went sucky spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do? Turn me into an omelet? I found it. I found the place where we can hide the eggs. This place should hold a million of those eggs. Good. Where is it? Right there. Right there. Perfect. Just dump over the side. Let's get out of here. Ooh, I love this plan. Uh... Huey! Audrey! Uh, I ran away from Nick. Nobody wants me. They're all saying so. Even the ducks don't want me. And I'm a duck! Oh. That's not true, Huey. Nick and his mom and dad want you. I heard them. We all want you. Nick and Lotta and Patsy and the rest of the kids are all looking for you. And Nick's mom and dad know that you never steal Easter eggs and that you never beat anyone up. How do you know that? Mr. Brejo, Nick's neighbor, saw Professor Von Klepp fall over Nick's fence and land on his face. That's how we got all banged up. He lied, and everyone knows it. We all want you to come back, Huey. You belong with us. Yeah? No one wants to hurt you, Huey. 
It's gonna be alright Sometimes things can get a little crazy But you've got friends by your side I know that you're feeling blue But baby, here we it's all up to you So come on Gonna help you get back on your feet You know how much we love you And that's all you need So I want you to take my hand Go back to the place with all your friends And I know that you're feeling blue But come on Huey, it's all up to you He's back. Huey's back. Oh, Huey. Thank heavens. I guess I was a little crabby. You weren't just crabby, Mom. You were wrong. I'll try. You're never going to guess what happened. Okay, we were looking for Huey. Anyways, hi, Huey. Um, Nick climbed down that man's gulch. He's, ha he's hanging from a branch. You can't move. <gasps> oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. I, I fixed it yesterday. Hmm. Look, I, I gotta help Nick. I gotta fix this thing. Uh, Huey, don't lift up the truck. Ow! Ow! truck and when I say so start the engine okay mm. Mm. Wow. Ooh. what's that 
Did you find the key? Yes! Okay, turn it! Okay! to me. Nobody does this to P.T. Winsaki. Well, I know that, boss, but I'm afraid they already done it. I thought I told you to dump those eggs off the cliff. Well, I was going to dump them and everything, but then when I saw how pretty they were, I, I just decided to lower them gently. Oh, you idiot. Well, onward and upward, boss. I say we go to Denver tonight and we check out that pot belly pig that skis. I don't want a pot belly pig that skis. I want a seven-foot duck that talks. I even had to make a Huey baby. Oh, boss, I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in a few minutes, I want you to find your respective teachers, and then uh, we'll lead you back into the school to give the Easter Bunny time to hide the eggs. <laughs> All right, some of you come with me. Come, Peter, come. Drive. Smash those eggs. But boss, they're only Easter eggs. I can't do it. Don't interrupt me. I'm having a temper tantrum. Drive! Break the eggs! Okay, have it your way. Buckle up, Winsaki. Can we do it again? I know what this looks like, Brad. He did it. Yeah, it wasn't me. Can we I negotiate here? You got a pet who wants to be in show business. How about a kid who can pass for an animal? Come on, come on. Let's talk business. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> 
much fun. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
mad? So tell me, how's mom? Something wrong, fellas? That dunce always ruins everything! Huey, that's the third teacher this week. Who's gonna look after us now, huh? Come on, fellas. Let's let Einstein play by himself. <laughs> So, they want somebody to look after them, eh? <laughs> Hello, little ones. My name's Ms. Bite. I'm here to look after you. Aw, oh, man. It's that crazy fox again. Yeah, and he's wearing women's clothing, too. You need some help, fella. Why, you little... <laughs> They're coming to play with me. Duh. Hey, fellas, come back. I want to play with you. Wow! <laughs> Nobody wants to play with me. There's a duck I'd like to stuff. <clears throat> I'll play with you, little thing. Really? I'm Miss Bite, and I'm here to look after you now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, Dumpling, our first activity is music time. Music time! Oh, boy! How do we play music time? Well, first I'll see what fun I can find in the music closet. Aha! This'll do nicely. Okay, Tubby, in my hand I hold a flute. Oh, a flute! Duh. How do you play it? Well, first, you put on the mouthpiece. No, no, not again. In the name of humanity, no! Let me out of here! Let me out of here! And then you blow. <gasps> okay, okay, let me try. <gasps> Gee, it doesn't sound too good, Miss Bike. Do I think it's broken? Seems to be working fine to me. That duck will get a 
charge out of this. <laughs> the... what? what you doing, Miss Bite? Oh, and, and, and... let's play musical chairs. Dear boy, I like musical chairs. Now remember, when the music stops, you sit down. <laughs> when the music stopped. Uh, cause my mother always tells me to let ladies sit first. <laughs> Gee, musical chairs was fun, Miss Bite. What are we gonna do next, huh? This time I'm gonna nail that duck. Hmm. Let's see if I've missed anything. Nitro! I knew something was missing. This is one nipple that duck will never forget. Okay, Tubby! Time for your bottle! The bottle? Oh boy! Easy does it! That's it! Get a good grip! <laughs> Duh! I think you're the fox, and you gave me some sour milk. Now, now, wait a minute! You wouldn't hit a lady, would you? Hey, Yui! This is great! Give it a try! Uh, no dice, fellas. I'm looking at the things now. 